Hollywood. Uh, you've done two British movies. You have not yet, as far as I know, decided to sort of cash in your chips and go yep. on to Hollywood. You could rock the ass out of a Die Hard Six, <laughs> and Mark would make a brilliant villain. He would make a brilliant villain. Yeah, I don't know if I'd want to. Uh, yeah, maybe I just can. Can you? Could you bring it back? Can you bring it back? The Die Hard series. It was a film that made me want to become a director. It was Die Hard. So the, the first Die Hard and you know, Lethal Weapon and Predator and John McTiernan, the amazing action director who went through that period of making Hunt for October, Die Hard, um, Predator. And I don't know, I don't know if I'd want to touch it because it's one of those films that I look up to and I, I hold it in such high regard that I don't know if I'd want to come in and do something with a sequel. It's always difficult with that, isn't it? When something is so fantastic and a lot of directors get the chance to do that kind of thing is to pick up a franchise and run with it. It is exceptionally hard because of the heritage. I think if... You know, if there's any, if there's a legacy that I can create, I'd like to try and create my own Die Hard, a new generation of action film that has its own um, sequel. Do you know what I mean? So I'd like to, and I've got some fresh material and fresh ideas in my head, and I'm writing plenty of new scripts, and I've got some new ideas coming out there, and so see what happens. Fantastic, brilliant.